Earth. Fire. Air. Water. Only the Avatar can master all four elements and bring balance to the world. Legend of Korra, Turf Wars, part one. Thanks, Kara. Uh, Thank yeah, Kara. thanks, guys. We're just going to jump in. Um, <clears throat> obviously, it's just the first chapter. And uh, kind of like we were saying, since everyone is sort of new to this um, staying at home thing, thanks for being responsible and protecting your uh, fellow humans. Uh, we just wanted to make sure that this sort of ran well and that we nobody dropped out and all that kind of good stuff. And if you enjoy it, um, definitely let uh, Dark Horse and Nickelodeon know and hopefully we'll be able to do more of this because we, as you know, are as big a fans of the world of Avatar and Legend of Korra as you are. So, ready to say show? Yes, okay, let's go. Welcome to the spirit world. I, I can't believe I'm actually here. The spirit world is a pretty unpredictable place. You never know when the ground might drop right out from under you, so stay close. I don't want us to get separated. Me either. So, where do we start our vacation? Thinking what I'm thinking? Race you to the top? You've been a little slow, Avatar. <laughs> I'm going easy on you. What, what, what's happening? Whoa! Who dares climb upon me? Uh, I'm sorry, noble spirit. We didn't realize. I should have known. Pesky humans. I'm not pesky. I'm the Avatar. Even worse. I didn't complain when you kept the northern and southern portals open, but creating a new one has gone too far. The human and spirit world should have remained separate. Uh, the, the new portal was kind of an accident. Leave my realm and never return. Cora, ah! hang on, I got you. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. <sighs> 
Asami, are you okay? Talk to me. Oh. <coughs> oh, what a disaster. I wanted our first big getaway to be perfect, not almost get us killed. I'm sorry. We've been through a lot worse together, and I'm not going to let one disgruntled spirit ruin all the fun we had. You shouldn't either. You're right. But, unfortunately, we lost all our supplies, so we should probably think about heading back to the city. Sure. Before, Before we, we go, go... Sorry. There's, um, I got too excited. One last thing I want to do on our vacation. This has been a wonderful few days. The best. Hey, remember when we first met and you took me race car driving? I remember how terrified you were. Was not. Anyway, what I remember the most was how relieved I felt. Relieved? Yeah. My whole life, I was always told I was too wild, too emotional, too intense. But it turned out you could be just as intense as me. I've never had anyone in my life who, who got me the way you do. The three years you were gone were the longest of my life. I think that's when I realized how much you meant to me. I almost told you in one of my letters. Why didn't you? You'd already been away for so long. I guess I was scared if you didn't feel the same way, then maybe you'd never come back. How about you? When did you know how you felt? Oh, after I was poisoned. You were there for me when I couldn't even be there for myself. But I was so messed up then. My mind was in a million different places. I, I didn't know if how I felt about you was real or not. But it wasn't an accident that you were the only one I wrote when I was gone. I'm glad you did. Oh! Looks like our ride's here. How does this dragon bird keep knowing where to find us? Mm, I think it can sense where I am. Not every spirit hates me. <sighs> I wish we could stay longer. Once we're back in the city, I doubt we'll have a moment to rest. Well, uh, well maybe our vacation doesn't have to end just yet. <clears throat> What do you mean? Cora, where are we going? It's a surprise. Wait, these portals won't take us back to Republic City. I thought we could visit my parents before we head back. Your parents? It's just, I, I mean, they're great, but I don't know if- No, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. They're going to be thrilled when we tell them about us. L come on. Cora, what a surprise. We didn't expect you. I thought you were still on vacation. What did you think of the spirit world, Asami? It was quite an adventure, but we had to cut our trip a little short. Why? Are you two all right? We're fine, Dad. Nothing we couldn't handle together. How about we talk over dinner? You girls must be starving. It smells delicious, Mom. Thanks, sweetie. So, I'm excited to hear all about your trip. Well, it was fun. 
<clears throat> really fun. Sounds fun. I'm just going to come out and say it. <laughs> wow. Uh, I didn't think I'd be this nervous. <laughs> Whatever it is, you can tell us. So, as you know, Asami and I have been friends for a long time, and, well, I, I mean, I, I'm just as surprised as anyone. Your daughter is incredible, and I'm so thankful she feels the same way about me. What we're trying to say is we're, we're together. together. <laughs> That's not what I expected to hear, but we I couldn't be more pleased. It's wonderful. I am so happy for you too. Thanks, Mom. So, who else have you told? Uh, you two are the first, but I guess once we get back to Republic City, everyone will know. Mm. Just be careful, Cora. It's best to keep your personal life private. What's that supposed to mean? I, I, th I think what your father is trying to say is not everyone will be so accepting. <laughs> so? That's their problem. I don't care what they think. I'll tell whoever I want. Cora. Just don't get ahead of yourself, Cora. Sometimes you get a little too excited and... I've dealt with a lot of narrow-minded people. I just didn't realize you were one of them. Maybe we should go. Good idea. But you just got here. Yeah, Cora, please. I didn't mean to upset you. Too late for that. I'm sorry about my parents. Sometimes they can be so insensitive. They were just being over cautious. And I kind of understand where they're coming from. You do? Listen, I am not embarrassed or ashamed to be with you at all. So if you wanted to tell the world about us, I'd be right behind you. But there's a selfish part of me that wants you all to myself, at least for a little while longer. I guess that's why I was hesitant to tell your parents in the first place. Oh, I'm such an idiot. You, you were trying to tell me you didn't want to go and I just, steamrolled over your feelings. Oh, my dad's right. I do get overexcited. I'm sorry. It's all right. I'm excited too. But what we have, it's kind of like the spirit world. It's special and rare. And not everyone is going to see it that way. Asami, no matter what anyone says about us, I'll have your back. You can count on that. Same here. And that's chapter one of Turfle. In the Republic City. Oh, that's so fun. Woo. Oh, I love them. It's so great, yeah. <laughs>